leave me alone and let me live in peace. Mm -hmm. That is my theme. Josephine Wright from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, is battling a development company that she says is trying to force her off her land to build a new residential subdivision. Actually, it began a little over a year ago. They were cutting down the trees and we could hear this boom, boom, boom. Some of these trees have been here for a hundred years. The 93 year old has lived in the home for 30 years. The property is full of history and wildlife and it has been in her family since the end of the Civil War. The wildlife, exactly. the wildlife habitat, the peace and tranquility. Bailey Point Investment LLC aims to construct Bailey's Cove Housing Development, a neighborhood with 147 homes, and is suing. They said I had a satellite on the property where they purchased. They also said we had a utility building that was partially on their, their property. However, anyone knows, if you know anything about property and buying stuff, when you purchase a property, you purchase everything on it. Mm -hmm. So why would I be encroachment? Josephine says unusual things have happened since this all began. My granddaughter, Sharif, her sister, was in the shower and someone was looking in the window. They came on my property during that time, walking all around my property. And she just let out a terrible scream. Mm -hmm. When we came out of the house to go to church, I'd say about four months ago, my two rear tires were flat. And a week after that, I come out of my door and on my window of my front room was a snake about the size of 12 feet. Mm -hmm. Now, I cannot definitely say they are responsible because I did not see who did. I just know that these little things were intimidation to me. And years ago, a realtor offered her money. And she said, well, you know, we have a person that's interested in buying your property. And I said, really? Well, what are you offering? And she said, well, they said 39,000. I said, don't insult my intelligence. Right. Please get out of my house. A GoFundMe was created to raise money for legal fees, property taxes, and more. It's gotten the attention of her community, the nation, and A-list celebrities. Thank you. Snoop Dogg and all of those, and Tyler Perry and Fantasia and Irving the football, all of these people I give so much thanks to because they were the ones really responsible in highlighting this pride Amen. problem. So um, when I say that, that I, oh boy, mm -hmm. my heart just goes out to them. Construction is halted on the development. I haven't heard a word from them since the town shut them down. They cannot build anything on Hilton Head. Until they settle this, settle until this is resolved completely. Yes. Josephine says no amount of money will make her leave, and she wants her property to not only be part of her legacy, but the legacy of her seven children, 40 grandchildren, 50 great-grandchildren, and 16 great-great-grandchildren. Without your help, I don't know what I would do. We love this property, and we are mm -hmm. going to stay here, and we're going to make sure that this becomes a historical site so that there will be no one moving in on this property. Amen. I'm firmly against getting rid of my property and I mean to stay on it as long as I live. When asked for comment by Inside Edition Digital, a Bailey Point Investment LLC employee said, quote, I don't think we'd be interested at this time and hung up. Inside Edition Digital also reached out to Bailey Point Investment LLC's lawyer for comment and did not hear back. 
For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wendell.